Hey guys, so it is September the 27th, a Friday, and um, just doing a quick little video. Um, I apologize, but I forgot to do a video of rain before I boxed him up to ship. Um, yeah, it was just a, a busy afternoon. Um, Alex had the day off. And I got out of work a half hour early, um, just because uh, Jeremy and his mom were going out to a friend's. So I got to leave work at uh, 12.30. So Alex picked me up, and um, we had to stop at Target, which is close to my work. So we stopped at Target to return something, and Alex grabbed some lunch at the mall. And so then by the time we got home, I think it was like a little after 1.30. And um, then I had to send a whole bunch of pictures through to Walmart to have printed. Um, because when we went to the post, like after we were going to go to the post office, I wanted to go and be able to pick up my pictures. So I had to do that. And then um, as you can see, I posted a submission for Ellen's Smile a While Challenge. Um, so I mailed that to her, and so it took a long time. And um, so then I was like, well, by then it was, oh gosh, like after four o'clock or something. And so I'm like, oh, I really gotta get this um, baby packed up to get to the post office. Um, and I felt bad, but we missed the five o'clock pickup just by like 10 minutes. And um, so that means the doll won't actually get out until Monday. So that's a shame. But um, anyways, uh, um, we ended up shipping both babies, the donation baby, uh, Daisy, and uh, Abby's custom rain. And so, um, yeah, I guess it just in the hustle and bustle of the afternoon. Um, and it, the weird part is all morning I kept saying to myself, make the video before you pack them up, make it, and then um, I totally forgot. So there will be no video to show you guys rain, but I did take pictures um, of him, so I'll either throw those at the end of this video or just do a short little video with his pictures just to show you guys. He turned out really great. Um, super, super cute. So. Um, so yeah, so then from there we went to Walmart, picked up my pictures, um, and stuff like that, and then, um, um, we were passing, um, the Halloween stuff, and, um, it was so funny because, um, the other night when I did the Halloween candy, I was saying to Alex, oh, you know, so I wonder if this year I'll have it in me to carve a jack-o'-lantern. Because um, last Halloween, if you can remember, I just didn't have the energy or the oomph or the strength in my hands to carve a pumpkin. And um, so we bought a cute little pumpkin. And I just drew with marker a face on it. And so yesterday, I saw some really cute little pumpkins. They were just the most perfect pumpkins I've ever seen. They said that they were for making pie with because they're smaller. And I almost picked one up thinking, now this would be easier to carve. Um, but then I was like, Halloween is like a month away. Would it go bad? <laughs> so I didn't bother buying it, but I kept it in mind. But anyways, Alex is like, why don't you just buy a fake pumpkin? And I'm like, a fake one? Like, I didn't even think there were fake ones or whatever. And I'm like, hmm. But as we were passing the Halloween section today, I spotted fake jack-o'-lanterns. They were as cute as can be. There was ones that were like a medium size and they were like eight dollars I think and I was originally gonna get one of those and then I saw these cute little tiny ones about like this round and um, they were four dollars um, and so I thought you know what those will be easier to store because it's a smaller one 
So I picked up the tiny one. It's really cute. I'll have to show it to you on Halloween, but it's uh, got a battery. Like, the medium one you had to plug in an outlet, which wouldn't work because we'd have to leave our door open and run, like, an extension cord all the way through our house to plug it in. So this one's battery operated, so it's really cool, and so it lights up. It's cute. So, um, so for now, no more pumpkin carving for me. Um, probably when I have a kid, I'll definitely do it with them, but in the meantime, I can enjoy um, having a jack-o'-lantern without putting my hands in pain um, <laughs> and dealing with all that geek. Um so yeah, so we grabbed that and the pictures and um, grabbed some Dairy Queen on the way home. Naughty, naughty. Um, <laughs> and um, so then I, I had dinner, um, some leftover chili, and watched Glee. Um, and uh, it was a bittersweet episode, I have to say. Now first off, I have to say, I really hand it to the cast because they pulled it off spectacularly. Um, it was beautifully done. I love the Beatles music. Um, and I got to hand it to them that they were actually um, able to sing happy songs and dance. And especially uh, Leah Michelle, when her character Rachel was in the diner. And um, she sang um, Hard Day's Night. She was, like, smiling and dancing. And, I mean, it was just wow. But then, and also at the opening, when she sang Yesterday, um, that had to be super hard for her to sing that without crying. Because, I mean, the words just, when you listen to them and how it relates to Corey's death, like, it's just... It was emotional. I cried at the beginning, and then I was amazed at how they pulled off the episode, and then I cried at the end. Um, it was just beautiful, um, the proposal, and um, and it was bittersweet because um, um, Finn should have been there for that moment, and he wasn't, and... Yeah, it's, um, so in two more episodes, they're going, the third episode, they're going to be remembering Corey, and, um, so it's where Finn's going to be killed off the show, and, uh, I am not looking forward to that episode. I am going to probably go through, like, a whole box of Kleenex, <laughs> like, I, like, I had the Kleenex here, whoops, I had it, I don't know if you guys can see it, I had it just for this episode, um, yeah, so, um, anyways, I guess that's it, I'm just going to watch Grey's Anatomy now, it's a two-hour season premiere, so I'm all set for that, because I got all caught up from season one straight through, so now I get to watch it, um, with everyone else, and, um, I guess that's it. That's it, guys. I'm sorry that I didn't get the video. I totally forgot and rushing and everything like that. So, what can you do? So, that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.